Hi, my name is Kieran McKenna. I'm assistant coach at Manchester United, and I'm here to answer some questions for Ask the Coach. I think firstly that's the that's the importance of the the work of the youth department um you know to to prepare the the young players as as well as possible um to put them in in a wide range of environments and and to give them a lot of experiences and challenges that that can prepare them for prepare them for these moments as, as well as possible um I think that's also you know really important how they work how the academy worked with the first team um, staff to make sure that the work is is coordinated, you know, across the club, so that when they are stepping up, it it's not going to be into anything that's, you know, vastly different or um, unique to to stuff that they have experienced before. So it's really important that you know within the club you you have similar threads going on to the work and and similar ideas, um, especially between the the first team and the older the older age groups within the academy. Um, I think that's that's something that we're fortunate with at the moment um, at United, where there is a really a good joined up thinking, good relationships between the the first team and the academy, and and hopefully that's making the transition a little bit easier for the young players. I think on top of that, the the first team players are really important, um, as well as the staff. I think the very often the young players stepping up to the first team. You know, gaining that that peer approval from the senior players is is one of the most important important elements for, from them. So, um, you know, ideally, if you have some some first-team players who've already progressed from your academy, that's a fantastic asset because they can they can speak with the young players from, from a position of, of empathy and having gone through that experience. And then again, ideally, you want to have some, maybe some other senior players um, on top of that who can you know, set the standard and and um, help the young players, but also be strong with them and challenge them and um, be demanding of them as well, um, because that's that's important at the right time. So I think as staff, it's it's partly our job to to encourage that leadership from the senior players to to make sure that they they feel that that's you know an important part of their role and that's something that they can do and and to have that. That back in from from the first team staff that they as, as players can also have a big part in in mentoring and developing the young players. Um, on top of that, then as as a as a first team coach, um, you know the best example I have is probably Chris Eaton when I was was a young player at Tottenham. Chris was was fantastic with young players coming up just on on really simple things. He would always you know come and meet you before the session and and speak to you. On a personal level, and and let you know, you know that they've been watching your games, and and let you know why you were training with the first team, what you've been doing well, and and what they were looking to see from you on any given day, and and what the content of the work would be. So, you know that was a really good example for me, and something that I, I try and continue on myself, just to to have that personal relationship, that personal touch with the with the young players, to make them feel comfortable, and and encourage them just to. To express themselves and and be confident in their ability and and show the the things that that they've been shown for the youth sides whenever they get the opportunity to come up with the first team. Jose is a is a absolutely top manager in in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, a very intelligent man, um, a fantastic communicator across different languages and and it'd be impossible not to pick things up from from someone like him so um i think probably one of the biggest insights that that i gained was just seeing the the levels of organization you know around both his his training process and and his batch preparation um within the training process just the the way that the level of periodization within the the training blocks the the process behind his his design of of training practices, um, the small details within the session and and the transition between practices and and the flow of work and the the delegation and and clarity of duties from from different staff within and around the session were 
we're all organised to to a really high level and a, and a higher level than I had experienced before. Um, and again, around the match preparation, um, just seeing how, how we went from that process of of studying the opposition and, and identifying things from from within them to then turning that into into training practices and and also then the analysis side of it and how that was was broken down to to filter that information to to the players and what they would need to know. So. Um, yeah, I think just a, a really high level of organisation around around those processes, and obviously, he's worked at the highest level for such a long time. He's he's developed his his processes in in that way over a long period of time, and and certainly a lot of things that I've picked up and and use now, and and will certainly look to use in the future as well. All is is a really enjoyable manager to work with. I think that's, you know, whether that's as a, as a staff or as a player, um, mostly because he has, he has fantastic human qualities. He, he trusts his staff and, and he trusts his players. He enables them to, to be able to express themselves and, and develop well within their roles. Um, I think he's someone who has a, a really strong, you know, connection and affinity for the club and the ethos of the club. Um, but is also modern in, in his thinking and wants to wants to bring in new ideas and, and move the club forward. So at the moment, that's just a, a really enjoyable thing to be to be a part of. Um, in terms of, of partnerships in, in coaching, I think that's just, it's important because people bring their own strengths and their own experiences to the table. And, and the more that, that people are allowed to do that, then the, the higher the, the accumulative quality can be. So um, I think Oli values and, and has been appreciative of, of the things that and the qualities that I can bring. Um, but on top of that, we have a, a wide range of experiences and and um, and qualities across both our coaching staff and, and the support staff. Um, and I think Oli obviously brings his own individual qualities. But on top of that, he's he's really good at managing, managing that blend and adding to that blend and, and utilising people as in the best way possible and, and hopefully that's um, you know all being done for the for the benefit of the club and and will bring some success to see the full q a and for more exclusive content from top level professional and academy coaches subscribe to the coaches voice academy at academy.coachesvoice.com <laughs>